Thank you for visiting the Coins Alert. When we discuss crypto, we make sure to keep our discussions brief and to the point. BRICS has just provided us with some incredibly significant news, and it comes from them. The BRICS new payment system is scheduled to be used by 159 nations. In addition, as we discussed in the most recent couple of movies, we observed that all of the BRICS nations were utilizing XRP. This means that there might be as many as many as 159 nations that use XRP. I will say it again, that is just enormous. Besides the fact that government agencies are collaborating with Ripple and making use of XRP, there is nothing more significant than that. Now that we have this information, we can see that the key BRICS nations, which include Russia, India, Brazil, China, and South Africa are all using XRP for their wholesale CBDC and BRICS funds. With China having 151 partner countries, we have a combined population of 5.1% billion, which is more than half of the total population of the entire planet. This is something that we can observe. All of the nations that are participating in the Belt and Road Initiative have a combined GDP of $41 trillion, and the total amount of investments is $1 trillion. On top of the XRP ledger, there is the potential for up to $41 trillion to be tokenized, and there might be as many as 5.1 billion people using XRP. Guys, once more, this is all enormous stuff. In addition to that, we also have an update regarding the cryptocurrency market in Russia. Similarly, this one is of an exceptionally enormous size. The new trade law that would allow cryptocurrency to be used for settlement has been hastened to begin beginning in roughly five weeks from today, which is approximately the 19th of September, according to statements made by Russian ministers today. Additionally, this is a significant crypto macro event. In addition, Russia has included XRP in their most recent PDF from the Russia Central Bank, which was published in June of 2024. This is as a result of Russia's annual trade in the trillions of dollars. On the other hand, we can see that XRP serves as a bridge currency connecting all of the assets together. Consequently, this is yet another piece of evidence that the BRICS nations are employing XRP for tokenization as a bridge currency and for making payments across international borders. As a universal settlement asset, we have XRP available for use by the central banks of the globe, including those of Russia, China, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and other countries. It is possible for you to pause the video and have a look at it. Molly Elmore, who works at Valhalla Capital, is here to discuss the various aspects of the new financial system. There is a basic similarity between the old and modern systems, according to her, when it comes to the sovereign level. Just like a blockchain, any nation that produces its own. Currency is its own blockchain. No interoperability exists at this time. The establishment of correspondent banking followed. The fact that it is impossible to transfer money from one walled garden to another is the reason why you require a bridge currency such as XRP. Therefore, for instance, you are unable to transfer money from PayPal to WeChat. That is not realistic at all. A transfer of funds from one walled garden to another is not possible at this time. Nevertheless, all of that is feasible with XRP, which is a bridge currency. We have XRP, which is a currency that connects all of the different payment systems and currencies. Therefore, it is entirely feasible to transfer funds. Go from PayPal to WeChat while using XRP. This is the power that XRP possesses, guys. We also have a visual representation of XRP functioning as the world bridge currency for those individuals who learn best through visuals. Once more, XRP is the currency that connects all of the other currencies. Market makers, often known as banks, might benefit from the utilization of XRP as a valuable bridging instrument. Every single bank is currently utilizing XRP. Everything is coming together, including the banker's coin. All of the banks that are participating in Project and Bridge by the BIs are the bank of. Thailand, the Hong Kong Monetary Authority, the People's Bank of China, and the United Arab Emirates. Additionally, BIs is a partner of Ripple. To put it another way, all of these central banks are using XRP to make payments across international borders. In the present moment, we are able to support payments in 25 countries with Ripple's on-demand liquidity. These countries include Singapore, Malaysia, Poland, Indonesia, and Thailand. To reiterate, as we have already stated, we have up to 159 countries. XRP is being used by everyone. With the new CBDC platform, Ripple is also showing tokenization in the Hong Kong Monetary Authority HKMA and the EHKD pilot program. An enormous amount of XRP is being used by China. Additionally, the People's Bank of China PBOC is utilizing blockchain technology to expedite international transactions, notably. Through the use of companies such as Ripple. With our improved real-time payment service, you may send money from the United Arab Emirates to India more quickly. Our federal bank and Ripple Lulu Exchange are both available to us. Additionally, with regard to Ripple partners, we have HSBC, Standard Chartered, and the Monetary Authority of Singapore all participating in Project InBridge.
we have received confirmation that the second largest bank in Singapore, DBS, is using Ripple for the tokenization of real-world assets. Pegasus Tony, who is the head of payments product at Ripple, is what you should hear. Consider this for a moment, shall we, in my opinion, payments encompass. A wide range of topics. That is, everything that requires a settlement in a short amount of time. And there is the next wave of growth that I really see in real-world asset tokenization. We have customers such as HSBC, DBS, the largest bank in Singapore, and DC Bank in Europe, and they are all entering the space to tokenize a variety of assets, such as money market funds, sometimes real estate, gold, and other assets, and they all require quick payments and settlement. In addition, I believe that this is the area in which the sector will experience the next trillion dollars of growth. Indeed, DBS is in the process of tokenizing all of the huge markets by utilizing XRP and the XRP ledger. And up until this point, they have initiated a pilot program for treasury tokens that are enabled by blockchain technology. The XRP ledger and ISO tokens will serve as the foundation upon which every asset in the world will be tokenized. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, all of this was predicted by the XRP insiders, Mr. Pool, all the way back in the year 103021. A image of Singapore is in our possession. In addition, on June 22, 2023, we were able to get in principal regulatory approval in Singapore, which allowed us to further establish our presence in the Asia-Pacific region. Here is the conclusion of the video. It is my hope that you all had a good time, and I will see you all at the next one.